This is the story of Mother Holly. There once was a widow who had two daughters. One was beautiful and industrious, and the other was ugly and idle. The beautiful and industrious daughter was left to do all the work, somewhat as the Cinderella of the story. She was to sit she was to spin wool by the, by the well in the highway day after day after day. And one day her shuttle was co co marked with her blood, so she goes over to the well to wash it off. The shock from the cold water in the well makes her drop the makes her drop the shuttle to the bottom. Confused and not knowing what to do, she goes back to her stepmother to ask. Her stepmother tells her to go back and get that shuttle out of the well. So this, the beautiful daughter goes back. She stands around, wondering what to do. Finally, she decides to jump in after it. As she dives down, she becomes disoriented and lost falls asleep. When she awakes, she's in a beautiful meadow. Blue skies and flowers sprouting everywhere. As she meanders through the meadow, she hears cries of, take me out, take me out, for I've baked a long while and I'm ready or I will burn. She, she sees the baker's oven full of bread. She takes the baker's shovel and pulls out every every loaf and places them nice and neatly together. She meanders a little further on through the meadow comes across a tree, an apple tree. It says, shake me, shake me, for my apples are all right. So she shakes on the tree and gathers them all up and puts them all in the bushel baskets. Wanders a little further through the through the meadow and comes across a comes across a house. An old woman peeps out and she is very startled. For this old woman has large teeth. She's very frightened and about to turn away. When the old the old child says, "Come, child, there's nothing to be afraid of. Come, if you do all the housework, do all my work properly." You'll be the better for it. Be sure to t to fluff my bed and shake it so as to make the feathers fly. For when you do, earth, snow will fall upon the earth. For I am Mother Holly. She does this very well, for very or very well for a very long period of time. Never a angry word said to her and she's well fed and taken care of every day. She begins to become homesick and knows that she's better off with Mother Holly when she finally tells her I must go home before I am I miss my family and I must go see them. Mother Holly then turns to her and says you've done it You've done everything I've asked, and you've done it well, and I do thank you. Now I will take you up, up myself. She takes her across, over to, across the meadow, over to a door. She opens the door. A golden rain falls. As she passes through it, she comes covered with the gold, and her pockets filled with it. She comes begins to come home up, start up the drive. And the rooster sees her. Cock a doodle doo, for your girl, golden girl has come home to you. She goes in, she tells her stepmother and relatives all about the journey. And her stepmother believes that her daughter needs that too. So now she is made to go spin wool by the highway, or in the highway by the well. Well, as she, on her trip there, she's pokes her finger, sticks her hand in a thornberry bush and pricks her finger so as to bleed. She comes
recovers the shovel in her blood and throws it in the well and dives after it. She too wakes up in that same meadow. Beautiful blue skies, flowers sprouting everywhere. Meanders through the meanders through the meadow. And once again hears the cries of the loaves of bread. Take me out, take me out. For I've baked a long while. And if I'm not, I will burn. She says, I don't want to do that because I might become dirty. And meanders on. Then here's the cry of the apple tree. Shake me, shake me, for my apples are all right. She says, I won't shake you because your apples might, for one might have bought me on the head. And meanders on. She comes to the house and she knows not to be afraid because she knows what to expect. She sees Mother and hires herself to Mother Holly for the same, same job, same tasks. She forces herself the first day to work diligently, but later on becomes idle. And on the fourth day, she doesn't even get out of bed in the morning, and Mother Holly bids her goodbye. Takes her across the meadow to the same door, opens it. But it's as if when she walks through it, a kettle full of pitch falls upon her head. And she is covered from head to toe in pitch. She wanders down the highway and starts up the drive. The rooster once again crows, Cock-a-doodle-doo, for your pitchy girl has returned home to you. She wanders <coughs> up the drive and into, the, into her home and tells the story. The pitch never comes off of her 